Why is he hanging around Puffy and L? I don't know. I never heard of him trying to be in the rap world. Him and that dude Vontae Sweet are both gay. You can look at the pictures that they taking together. Look at this picture with these two. Those niggas are zesty. You know that he would hire these like workers and like they would have, you know, with her or whatever and he would watch and tell them what to do. But I'm sure they're gonna be shedding up Lil Rod real soon. <laughs> they're gonna be giving up some money to Lil Rod real soon. Young Miami is on a mission to expose Diddy and she's not holding back. Every time we think this drama couldn't possibly escalate further, a new bombshell drops. Now, Young Miami is alleging that Cuba Vidding Jr. helped Diddy orchestrate his wild escapades. Their foul up began when the lawsuits started flying, and word has it Diddy cut her off financially after she distanced herself from him. It's no wonder she's airing his dirty laundry now. And boy, did she come prepared. Young Miami isn't just spilling the tea, she's serving up the whole teapot. With stories for days about Diddy and his antics, you won't believe the wild tales she's sharing. Despite moments of doubt, she's staying true to her purpose, keeping it real in these interviews. Diddy's legal troubles have been piling up, with lawsuits emerging from all directions. And who's been by his side through it all? Young Miami. But now, it seems she's turning the tables, dishing out juicy gossip about Diddy's celebrity shenanigans. Brace yourselves, because she's dropping names you wouldn't expect to be involved, like Cuba Gooding Jr. I want to actually speak out and actually... Since Cassie filed the first lawsuit against him last November, Diddy's been in hot water. Then, three more women came forward with allegations, followed by Lil Rod, a producer on his last album, Love Off The Grid, who made some shocking accusations of his own. This led to a raid on Diddy's properties by Homeland Security. Despite the chaos, Diddy's lawyers maintain his innocence, accusing the feds of piling on and trying to tarnish his public image. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight. Every single day to clear his name, a federal officer replied to this and said we believe that there is a disturbing history of trafficking we are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. We had allegations that we following up on Rod spilled the beans in the lawsuit. And according to the lawsuit, Jones lived with Diddy from September 2022 to September 2023 while they were working. On Diddy's love album, and according to him, he saw some really crazy things during the time they lived together. Rod claimed in the lawsuit that he wasn't just mixing beats D. Diddy, also tried to mix him, as well if you get my drift I'm talking hours and hours of some seriously inappropriate stuff that he was forced to endure because he was working for Diddy, he talked about how Diddy would allegedly try to ASA him, how Diddy had young girls at his parties, and allegedly spiked their drinks how young Miami watched this happen, and she did nothing to help or stop Diddy's actions, don't even get me started on how he claimed that Diddy allegedly made young Miami's cousin saw her, even though the cousin was luckily unsuccessful, but according to Lil Rod, the cousin was not the only one who Diddy tried to force to sah him because he also tried to make Cuba Gooding sah him as well allegedly, it got to a point where Lil Rod felt like. I could see with a person like Lil Rod, he probably was roughing him up, grabbing him, groping him, you know what I'm saying? Acting like he playing with him, but he actually want him to do what he want him to do. So the horse play was his way of grooming you in a sense. Well. I don't, that grooming, that's some new shit. You know what I'm saying? We didn't call that, <laughs> we didn't call it grooming back then. That his horseplay was a way of letting you know I could really hurt you if I wanted to. You get it? I could really hurt you. And that's what that kid probably felt. Yo, why he doing me like that? Oh, he just playing with you. No, he was letting you know if I turn this up, I could really hurt you. And that was his way of trying to get you to be submissive to him. Right. He's letting you know, he's putting it in your mind. Listen here, bro. He's trying to put in his mind, we're playing now, but if I really want to turn this shit up on you, it's on. Diddy was trying to groom him and pimp her out to other men in the industry, Chell. Even Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, spoke on this drama and pretty much said the same thing so I can see with a person like Lil Rod, he probably was rubbing him up, grabbing him, groping him, you know what I'm saying, acting like he playing with him, 
but he actually want him to do what you want him to do, so the heart's play was his way of grooming you in a sense well, I don't that grooming. That's some news you know what I'm saying we didn't call that we didn't call it grooming back then, that is horseplay was a way of letting you know I could really hurt you if I wanted to you get it, I could really hurt you, and that's what that kid probably felt yo, why he doing me like that oh he just playing with you, no he was letting you know if I turn this up, I could really hurt you, and that was his way of trying to get you to be submissive to. Him right he's letting you know he's putting in your mind, listen here bro he's trying to put in his mind, we're playing now, but if I really want to turn this, underscore underscore, up on you it's on according to Rodney, he tried to confront Diddy about his creepy behavior, but Diddy just brushed it off claiming it was all just horse play, he denied any sinister intention insisting that Rodney was reading too. Much into things Rod also said that Diddy went as far as directly propositioning him, even promising to secure him the title of producer of the year at the upcoming Grammy Awards, but it didn't end there, Rodney claimed that Diddy made him watch videos of producer Stevij, getting into some compromising situations, you know engaging in some intimate activities with another guy, and the craziness didn't stop there, he alleged that Diddy's Miami mansion was the venue for some seriously wild parties with all sorts of shady stuff going down Rodney, even suspects that he might have been drugged and taken advantage of at one of these parties, now I can't say for certain if it's true, but it's definitely suspicious, especially since other women who sued Diddy have made similar claims, the court documents said honor about February 2, 2023 incident, Mr. Jones believes Mr. Combs drugged him Mr. Jones recalls waking up. Naked dizzy and confused, he was in bed with two's workers and Mr. Combs, he also recalls aimlessly wandering around the house with no clothes on Lil Rod, also named Drop one of the men that Didi was trying TP pimp him out to, and it's none other than Cuba Gooding, speaking of Cuba TMZ reported that Jones claims Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jur on Diddy's yacht, and Cuba allegedly began touching groping and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his upper inner thighs near his groin the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders, Diddy's former bodyguard Gandil, also had something to say about Diddy in Cuba, and me looking at this lawsuit, he's also you know Al legend that he met Cuban Gooding Jur through Diddy on on Diddy's yacht. There were allegedly instances where Cuba Gooding Jr. began touching Lil Rod inappropriately, particularly on his upper inner thigh near his groin. Although Lil Rod didn't see the picture himself, others described it as questionable. Jean also hinted that Diddy may have influenced Cuba to view Lil Rod as potential prey. Now, with no photographic evidence, do you buy into Lil Rod's claims? Personally, I find them plausible. When you see two people so close, it's hard not to wonder if there's more than meets the eye. The mention of Cuba's involvement isn't surprising, given his history of alleged misconduct, especially at Diddy's infamous parties. Cuba, once a celebrated Hollywood figure, saw his career decline after a series of poor decisions, turning down significant roles and facing allegations of inappropriate behavior towards women. His downfall seemed inevitable, despite his earlier success. Regarding the accusations against him, numerous women have come forward, painting a troubling picture of Cuba's behavior. From harassment to assault, the allegations span years, with over 30 women accusing him of misconduct. His legal battles have resulted in settlements and plea deals, tarnishing his reputation further. 